Hello, my name is Will Carmack and I'm going to be showing you how I animated 360 footage to have perfect and seamless transitions. Even portals! This was a job I did for Red Bull, teleporting one of their bikers from New York to Utah for the Rampage downhill biking event. I'm going to show you how to do it and also don't forget that this video is sponsored by Squarespace. So let's begin! So let's look, this first transition is really easy. It's basically a match action cut and a good easy mask. So let's take clip one and clip two on our first transition. So we're gonna pre-compose these in After Effects and on the pre-composed layer, we're gonna add the effect GoPro Reframe. Set it to the dimensions nine by 16. Set the composition settings to 1080 by 1920. So we're working in our vertical 360 format. And we'll take these two clips, lay them on top of each other. And where we want to transition from scene one to scene two, we're just going to animate with the pan, tilt, rotation, all of that on GoPro Reframe to whip to the left or wherever you want it to go. And then in our second scene, we're just going to line up that whip pan. So where our scene goes from point A to point B, we're going to create the exact same keyframes on the second clip. And now we want this biker from scene A to bike into scene two creating the seamless transition. Because we're smart and we pre-composed our 360 footage, we can now go into our pre-comp, so we're looking at our big, long 360 footage. And we're just gonna mask out the biker. So if I solo this biker alpha channel and go back to our first clip, you can see that what we're looking at is this biker just going into our original footage. And since we already have the camera movement down, all we gotta do is slowly fade out the background of our first clip. So as the biker enters our new clip, the background fades out. Bam, seamless transition one. We got from the Williamsburg Bridge to Domino Park. When we pull up on the giant Red Bull gate, there's a portal inside of it. Remember, because we're smart and we pre-comp our 360 footage, I just dive down into that original 360 clip and I mask out the gate and the biker. So by the end of it, this clip clip looks like this. And because we masked inside of the pre-comp and not the layer on top, when we're on the layer with our GoPro reframe, we can pan around with our mask inside of it. It gives us all the flexibility of 360 footage while still being able to use a mask in a really fun way. So now for the portal, we have this giant gaping hole, we need to fill it. So for this, I needed a match action scene. So because the biker is gonna go forward, I need the second clip to be moving forward as well. So this clip here where the camera is moving forward and then we pan to the biker is perfect. So I put this new clip underneath of our portal. So as our biker skates through it, it's entering this new clip. Again, we're gonna do some match action keyframing here on GoPro Reframe. As I go through the portal, I am panning left and up, so our biker is actually going down and right. Basically, once we go through the gate, I am panning away from the biker, and because we've masked out everything except the gate, it basically looks like we're just panning into our new scene. And so you're just matching the camera movement, going through the portal, and bam, you're in Utah. But how did I make the gate look a little portally? So I pre-comped this final 360 edit right here, this little span where he bikes through the gate. And I did a 3D camera tracker on that scene so I could add in anything I want on top of the gate. So I 3D tracked in an adjustment layer with the effect with the effect heat distortion on it, which creates heat distortion, but you can also use it to create like portal in the air. So I applied that to kind of make the background look all squiggly. And I put the effect deep glow on the Utah layer. So as we're coming up to it, it looks like it's glowing. And on the gate, the original 360 footage, I put a, a light wrap effect. It's called Crate Light Wrap from Production Crate. I'll link it in the description below. So the glow on the Utah clip is affecting the gate. And then in a final editing pass, I used uh, a God Rays plugin. It's also free from Production Crate, link in the description below. And I used this God Rays effect to make it look like the portal is like ethereal, angelic light streaks are opening up as we go through. And that's how you create a portal in 360 footage. <laughs> Now for the next transition, this one is the easiest. I am just doing a match action cut because these two scenes were filmed in the exact same location. With my GoPro reframe, I am animating it to pan from left to right really aggressively. And because these are basically the exact same scene, I could have gotten away with just a match cut. But to blend it in perfectly, I put the second clip on top of it and did a luma fade, which slowly gets rid of all the whites and the darks in your image. And with the combination of a luma fade and a match cut, I was able to make it look like these two scenes were the exact same scene and one biker was going right. And as we pan, there's just another biker flying into the sky. So on the third transition, 
mission, we have this biker fly up from behind a mountain. Super easy. What I'm doing, and because we're smart, we always pre-comp our 360 footage. I'm going into this pre-comp and I'm masking out the biker and this hill. So if I solo those two alpha layers, it looks like this. And with the 360 footage, I'm just panning down. So we pan down from the biker and everything behind it is transparent. And now the perfect clip for this transition was this biker skating into the sky. In this situation, the sky acts as a perfect green screen. So I'm using the effect extract and color range to get rid of the brightest um, parts of this image and the blues, which leaves me with just this clip of the biker. And since I masked out the biker in the hill in scene one, I can just put this dude right behind him. And since it's in the same location, the sky is the same color, when he flies into the background, it looks so magical because it's all color corrected and it's the same scene. And then like the very first transition, I am just slowly fading in the background of the next clip. And since it's the exact same sky and the sky is all in the same lighting, this little fade was unnoticeable. And lastly, how we get back to New York from Utah, super fun. It's a rinse and repeat of the portal effect, but in the other direction. So because this guy is heading straight towards Cam, we needed to film the transition into um, New York in the same angle. And because we're smart and we pre-comp our 360 footage before we put the effect GoPro reframe on it, I'm diving down into the pre-comp on the original big footage and I'm masking out the biker and everything behind the gate. So when we solo the footage, it looks like this. Oh, it's gorgeous and smooth. So if we go back to the uh, composition above this, if we line up the movement of these two scenes, so we're panning right from this biker who just landed, on the scene that we just masked out, we can pan right to left to animate him coming into the scene. So as we pan right, he pans left. And because of the nature of camera movement and the way we masked out the gate, we're just gonna naturally fly into our new scene. And what I did is I just keyframed the GoPro reframe of this now background scene to kind of match where the gate was. So as we fly into New York, it looks like we're just seamlessly coming from Utah. It almost looks like it's 3D tracked into the background there. And as he bunny hops through the gate, I am adding the effect deep glow to that original clip. And then I am applying a light wrap effect to the biker. So as the deep glow affects the background, it's also making the edge of his body glow. It just kind of combines all these clips together in a really nice way. And also, again, I'm applying the God Rays effect from Production Crate to give these gate enter entrances and exits an ethereal look with these glowy light streaks. And bam, that is how you make the most seamless and cool visual effectsy uh, transitions with 360 footage in After Effects. You have to leave any questions down below, I'll answer them, or message me on Instagram, I'll answer them. I love talking about editing, so let me be your one-stop shop for all the questions you need to ask. And that is how you make a professional animation for Red Bull that will go viral on multiple Instagram pages. This is one of my favorite edits ever. I still can't believe I pulled it off. So hopefully this makes the future of you animating 360 footage way easier. And of course, all this knowledge is funded by Squarespace. From online stores and marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform. Let's say you want to be an incredible business person like me. Squarespace will set you up for all the success in the world. First of all, you can create custom merch all through them. They will help you with the designs. They handle the shipping and the inventory. So all you got to do is show up with a good idea and they'll help you execute physical products that will help you connect with your audience. But what if you actually already make stuff and you want to sell stuff? Squarespace has you covered. They've got retail online stores that you can build. So if you sell jewelry, maybe furniture, you can list this stuff on Squarespace and you have an amazing retail website. Okay, but what about my content creators and influencers out there? Maybe you don't have like furniture that you're building that you wanna sell. In member areas on Squarespace, you can upload exclusive bonus content that you're not posting anywhere else. You can drive traffic to your website and make profit by monetizing memberships to exclusive content they could only see on your Squarespace website. So become a business person with Squarespace, create custom merch, sell retail items, or make money through monthly subscriptions to your bonus content. It's incredible. The options are endless. Best part is I got you hooked up with a discount code. So if you go to squarespace.com slash Will Carmack, you'll get 10% off your first website or domain. Thank you for sponsoring this video, Squarespace. I hope everyone learned something today. And where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will, and have a nice day.